I felt that the core of what I wanted to get across could be told in 90 minutes, two hours, and be effective and all of that. But I also I wanted to take a little bit of the real, true Columbine story back out of it. I wanted it to be inspired by that and you know, fall heavily upon the experiences from that, but I also wanted it to be universal. I sat down and I started to write um, what would become April Showers. I didn't have a title or anything like that. When it was all over, I sat down and I read it. And I was like, oh, this story is what I just wrote for a week. Okay, not, I never really intended to write it. Um, and so when it came out, I was actually a little bit surprised. I found the April Showers script on Craigslist. I know, it's weird. <laughs> but, um... I just finished four short films in six months, actually, while working a full-time job. His ad was really funny. It just, it had this line in there, like, just be cool. And I was like, I guess I'm kind of cool. Okay, I'll see. And I submitted. And so I read the synopsis, and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to do this movie. It was a big film. Uh, up until this point, I had done short format stuff, or I had been part of a much larger puzzle. Um, and I had always overseen things and stuff, but being solely responsible for, for something of this size. It was just, it's not a film that I don't think a first timer goes out and does. I mean, there's, there's some serious action sequences, there's some stunts, there's tons of extras. Uh, you know, cars and, and helicopters and all this stuff. It's like it's, while not a big budget or, or a large uh, film per se, I mean, it, it just seemed like something that, do I really want to start with something like this? And that was, that was hard. And the initial question that I had to ask is, well, regardless if it's April showers or if it's something else, something will always be my first movie.